How could you not like this guy? That's the player's chef, Jeremy Bryant, making a sandwich known as a Seeger, like only he can. And that's Mariner Kyle Seeger enjoying every minute. You're living every fan's dream. I absolutely, I know that, and I respect that, and I feel like, I, I realize how lucky I am. In 1997, Jeremy was just a huge Ems fan, fresh out of chef school. On a whim, a cousin of a co-worker got him into the Kingdom Clubhouse. I was like, are you kidding me? You get to go in the locker room? His hero was Edgar Martinez. He gets tagged out trying to steal third base. He walks off the camera and he walks in the room and, and he sits right next to me. And he's like, hi, I'm Edgar. And, and I'm just like freaking out, you know? He saw the player's post-game meal and knew he could do better. I took a plate from a dinner that we did at Bill Gates' house, and I brought it down, and the players would be coming out, and I'd be like, try my food, please. You know, I mean, it was just, I think back about now, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm lucky I didn't get arrested. When his beloved M's moved to Safeco, the team remembered. Literally two days before the first game here, I get this random call, and he goes, hey, you still want to cook down here? I don't have a cook yet. And I came flying down. He was one of the first, if not the first, team chef in the majors. He makes a pre- and post-game meal for every home game. Jeremy's kitchens become the gathering spot. Tons of laughter. You have to be happy in here. A lot of love and happiness in the kitchen. So many stories about players like Ichiro, who loves Jeremy's so-called Mexiyaki-style wings, and... He loves Snoop Dogg. Then there's Griffey in the middle of a game. You gotta just be prepared to cook corn dogs to caviar at any time, at any given notice. And, you know, um, Griffey would be like, you know, I kinda want lobster right now. And then there's the day Norm Charlton just got back from hunting. He's like, oh yeah, oh here you go. And he slams these, these birds and they got feathers and, and they're all bloody and he just shot them. They're still warm. Jeremy never defeathered a bird and he never told Norm about this until now. When Norm got suited up and went out for the game, I took off to Costco and I got like eight of those rotisserie birds and I swapped them out. And so when the game was over, you know, we won the game and, and Norm was walking around saying, you taste that, that's a real bird right there. That's some fresh meat. And, and he had no idea his was, you know, I never served it. And after Edgar's last game? Everybody's gone home. And for some reason I was here really late. He comes in here and he just wraps his arms around me and, we, and we're standing and just together like, and it was this, this great moment for me, like, I, he just needed a hug, and I happened to be the lucky guy to be here, which, you know, it was so cool. It was like the, one of the greatest moments for me. So whether they need a sandwich or just a hug, Chef Jeremy is the Mariners' go-to guy. When he's not cooking at the safe, Jeremy actually runs his own company, Rain City Catering, and he shared the very top secret recipe with us for the Seeger. You can find it on our website. All right.